All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily, guys. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button down below. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers on this channel by the end of the year. Post a bunch of Rockets content here on this channel. I know you guys would like it. Um, if you want to watch a recap video, I still probably will recap the game on this channel later tonight. But if you want to watch like uh, a live stream, live reaction, and just an immediate after game recap, go to the main channel, Will Upton. Um, on YouTube and that's where that will be but I wanted to talk about John Wall here today because I've I talk about John Wall on the main channel quite a bit and also tweet about him all the time if you guys want to follow me on Twitter it's will underscore Upton but really this seems like it's going to get going soon today or sorry let's let's start from square one on friday john wall told rafael stone that he wants to play for the rockets this year he wants them to come to an agreement or figure something out so he is playing makes a hundred percent sense the fact that john wall like disregarding my opinions disregarding anyone else's opinions the fact that a basketball player has to a healthy basketball player has to go to his gm has to go to his front office to ask if he can play for their team it's pretty crazy and when you factor in that he's a three-time all or more than a three-time all he's a several time all-star he averaged 20.7 assists last year it sounds crazy but they had another meeting today and apparently uh, John Wall, like it was, it was Wall, Stone, Silas, all the front office, and John Wall apparently wants to start. So that's why I'm making this video because John Wall wants to start. And I talked about this yesterday, where it's like I don't mind if John Wall wants to come back to the team if he's playing like 20 minutes off the bench. Here's the thing: if Rafael Stone wants to play John Wall 30 minutes a night. Maybe not on back-to-backs. Hopefully, John Wall still won't be playing back-to-backs because you really, like, the most important thing if you're going to play John Wall and really just the most important thing in general right now is to make sure John stays healthy. Like, that is the most important thing. So, you, I, I don't want to overwork him. And in fact, if Raphael Stone doesn't have the intention to trade him, there's no point in playing him. That's a fact. The thing is, Raphael Stone is a smart man. He's made a ton of good moves since he's gotten to Houston. I'm going to trust him, not only because he's the GM and I have no other reason to, but he has yet to fail me. He's yet to prove me wrong. I've liked pretty much every single move he has done. So if he, Raphael Stone's not stupid. Like he is not, he's clearly not a stupid man. Normally these NBA GMs are stupid. I'm going to trust Raphael here. So if he wants John Wall to start, if he wants John Wall to play 30 minutes a night, if he wants to throw KPJ on the bench, if he wants to throw Jalen Green on the bench, or if he wants to play all three of those guards at the same time, I don't have an issue. I'm going to trust Silas to, to make the most of it because I believe Silas works better with veteran players because the offense is relatively complex. And with all these young players, I saw a report that, or I saw a tweet, not a report, I saw a tweet saying they saw a report about, um, I think it was on Swaggy's channel in the comment section where it's like some of these younger players are going to Silas saying, we have no idea what the plays are. Can you help us? I, I, I believe that 0%, like literally negative percent. But anyways, the offense is complex. It is a complex offense because Steven Silas, he was part of the, the most efficient offense in the NBA history. The best offense in NBA, maybe not the best offense, but the most efficient offense in NBA history in the Dallas Mavericks as an assistant coach right before he came to the Rockets. And he was expecting to join this team with Russell Westbrook, PJ Tucker, and James Harden. He's a, he, he's, he's a smart dude. And it makes sense that a lot of these younger players, either they don't know what to do all the time because it's so early into the season, or they just don't understand it quite yet. It will come. It will come by the end of the year. John Wall, veteran player, played with him last year, 20.7 assists. So I know for a fact that when John Wall comes to this team, the Rockets would be better off. In fact, if the Rockets had John Wall to this point, there's no way they would have not seven wins. He's the anchor. He's the leader. He is the best player on the team, and it's not even close. So for example, take a team like the Toronto Raptors, who are without Pascal for their first couple of games this season. Now granted, Toronto's a couple of years 
ahead of, of Houston right now because of the unloading and the trades last year. But like, if take any team, if you're missing your best player, you're not going to do good. And that's the situation with the Rockets is they're literally playing basketball without their best player on the roster. Whether or not you want John Wall to play or not, he's the best player. And when he comes back or if he was playing, they would have been much better off. Like they would definitely have. You can't argue to me that the Rockets wouldn't have five wins right now. There wouldn't be back-to-back 30-point blowout losses with John. I know we only won 17 basketball, or was it 18? 17, 18 basketball games last season. But man, our roster last year to this year, we've improved. During that 20-game losing streak, you look at the roster playing for those games, you look at the roster right now, even without Jalen Green, this Rockets team is so much better. They are way better than 3-16, and and as I've been saying, they'll have, I've been saying this before the Rockets even won a basketball game against the Bulls to end the win streak, they'll have seven wins by the end of December easily. This Rockets team will have 20, 25 wins 100% at least by the time the season is over. They do not suck. The coach doesn't suck. It's just maybe, I I don't think Steven Silas is the best fit because you brought Steven in to try and win a championship with your current core and then they all get traded. I don't I don't really think Steven Silas is a developmental developmental coach, but let's say the Rockets develop at a very quick rate or let's say John Wall comes on, the Rockets string off like seven straight wins, something like that. We have some more conversations. Then it's like, all right, maybe Daniel Tice was the worst signing you possibly could have done and maybe we should go for more star not star studded necessarily but like more higher up free agents than players like Daniel Tice who are picking up DNPs after getting paid 35 million plus in this last offseason so that's it for today guys please comment your opinion on John Wall I have a feeling I have a I just have that feeling that so many people are going to want John Wall to play so that he can get his trade value up and so that the Rockets either eventually buy him out or get him to a team that needs him my hope is still that either the Knicks or the Clippers get desperate enough at their current choices at point guard Reggie Jackson's looking very good and then with the Knicks Kemba Walker actually looks horrible so I but they have him on a really good contract but the Knicks do have a ton of money they have a ton of salary cap to work with so it's going to be really hard to trade John Wall but the hope is that you play him he puts up what he was putting up last year if not better he's healthy he's more efficient they're getting more wins and that you can trade him and just try and get anything you can possibly can because if you can't trade him this year he's going to accept the player year next year and you're going to have to buy him out which it's not the worst thing but it's not ideal that's it for today guys hit that like button hit that sub button we're like 39 subs away from 600 so if you guys are new here and not subscribed please hit that subscribe button i appreciate it a ton i'll see you guys probably later tonight